Hello everybody, so um, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I uploaded anything, um, but today I have another makeup tutorial for you all, which is a look that I posted on my Instagram like a week ago. I did it a week ago, posted it on my Instagram. Um, basically, I'm in third year now and we're kind of bringing out our inner hot girl, uh, e-girl, kind of cute aesthetic this, th this year. Um, I'm also in a new room. <laughs> So I'm kind of still trying to figure out like lighting and where best to film and filming angles and everything so this video is a little bit iffy with that but please bear with me because the look it turned out really cute and I love it and I feel very um, aesthetic. But we also tested out a new foundation today, we tested out the Sephora um, 10 hour wear perfection foundation so we actually did something different today. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how I got the look I'm wearing right now then please keep on watching the video because I love it and I hope you do too. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyelid with the um, Revolution um, Conceal and Define in C1 and I'm just going to pop this on my eyelid and then blend it out with my sponge as normal. Okay, right. So once that is all blended out, I'm going to go in with some sellotape. This is just kind of normal sellotape because I can't do winged eyeliner without sellotape. Um, it's just something you need to accept. Um, if you guys want to do it without sellotape, then go for it. Um, but I need sellotape because I can't do winged eyeliner because I'm still a child, basically. And then we can start on the eyeshadow, which is literally the easiest thing in the world. So I'm going to start off with the Morphe um, 35O palette and I'm going to start off by taking a mixture of this shade and this shade from these palettes, just mixing these two on a small fluffy, not a fluffy brush, a packer brush. This is the Zoeva 234 Luxe Smoky Shader. So I'm just going to begin packing that all over my eyelid on that brush and I'm going to start by doing that really kind of nice winged out shape that we've got here um, and that will literally help you get the guideline for the white eyeliner like perfect so there's not much pressure to kind of blend this out and make it like a perfect blend because it will be covered up by the white line that we're going to put there a bit later why is my face going fluffy what is that does anyone else is like do you does anyone else get like little bits of fluff randomly on their eyeshadow because i seem to get that all the time it's really annoying so i'm just going to make sure i've got that really nice winged out shape going on and then pack it over the rest of the lid Don't worry too much about blending this out at this point, that's kind of neither here nor there. Okay, and then to blend that out I'm going to go in with this brush here which is the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush and I'm going to take a little bit of that, um, where is it, that lighter orange colour we used um, and just kind of begin to buff out the edges a little bit. Uh, not too much but we just, we do want a little bit blended obviously. Um, Okay, and then just to buff that out even more with a lighter colour, I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush, this is the NYX number 17, and I'm going to go in with a blush shade from Sleek, which is the Life's a Peach blusher, and I'm just going to use that to blend out even more. I love this colour so much. It's not, like, amazingly pigmented, but if you kind of build it up and build it up, it's actually so pretty. So yeah, once you've got that sort of nice and blended out however much you want it to be, then that is basically the eyeshadow completed. It's so easy, so quick for the eyeshadow. And then we can go in with some white to do this, what was that hiccup? To do this kind of cute little accent line over the crease um, and for that I am using again the same Revolution concealer but in the shade C0 which is just the white one. Um, this stuff is so cheap and so good like I'm I'm actually kind of shook at how good this stuff is for the money. Um, it was literally like four pounds or something I think so yeah. 
This is kind of the stressful part, I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm using a really, really tiny, like, flat detail brush, which is the Real Techniques Detailer brush, and I'm kind of squeezing it like this to create, like, a really flat edge to it. You could use an angled brush, like this one, or, like, a really small detailer brush, like that, or whatever brush you feel most comfortable using, but I really like this one for small line work, so gonna go in with the concealer and do that. I was gonna use white eyeliner but the one from NYX cracks like you wouldn't believe so I thought best to just stick to concealer for this one and that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna get on with that and I will be back. So I always start in the inner corner Ooh, this is so stressful and also filming it is stressful as well, I'm going to be honest with you. Don't you love it when your hands start shaking, just as you're doing your line work? I went off camera for sure doing that. But what we're going to do next is kind of wait for that to dry a little bit because obviously it is concealer, not eyeliner. I'm going to kind of go in with a really skinny little brush. This is the um, Real Techniques Accent Brush. And I'm going to take um, from the KDMUA um, Urban Bible Palette, I'm going to take Veil um, just on the end of this. And I'm going to just set the concealer in place just by pushing the white eyeshadow over the top of it. And then what I'm going to do, because obviously the line has got a little bit more rough and ready since we did that, I'm going to take another little flat um, eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go back in with the lid colours which were this orange and this orange and I'm just going to kind of go alongside the line just so we've got a um, kind of getting rid of some of the like covering up some of the extra white um, getting rid of the extra white eyeshadow and just kind of redefining the orange and that's the eye done pretty much <laughs> um, and then we're going to add a big fat winged eyeliner with the Maybelline um, Lasting Drama liner. This is. I'm just gonna, gonna do a really big wing. It's actually kind of stressful how close that black is to that white there. And then whip off the sellotape and you should get a nice clean line edge there and then I'm going to go back in with the concealer and I'm going to pop it underneath my eyes <coughs> just like this and then just for that little space in there I'm going to add a dot of the white one just to brighten up a little bit under my eyes because they are dull just like that and then um, for the lower lash line I'm going to go in with back with the um, Zoeva brush and the same colours and just run them under the lower lash line like so and then I'm going to go in with this brush here which is my little blending brush from the Makeup Revolution shade and light palette and I'm going to go back in with Life's a Peach and blend out the lower lash line. Okay, just like that. And for the inner corner I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to take um, on the Morphe E24 brush um, this shade right here, this really really shiny shade that I've pretty much used up because I used to use it as a highlight all the time and then for the brow bone I'm actually going to go in with my baby which is Becca Champagne Pop um, and I've got this in limited edition packaging because I'm bougie 
and I'm going to use the Kryolan Art um, Kryolan Eyeshadow Brush 1707 brush, which is just like a fluffy packer brush, I suppose. And I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone with Becca Champagne Pop. And I'm also going to put a tiny little bit of Champagne Pop into my inner corner as well. And then for the finishing touch to the eyeshadow look, I'm going to take one of these. And I have rhinestones because I thought I would make this a little bit euphoria inspired as well. And pop a rhinestone in the inner corner and wherever my tweezers have gone, that's what I'm going to use to do it. But I don't know where I put them. Like so. And that's the eyeshadow done. So I'm going to add the finishing touches of mascara and then we can move on to the face look. Okay, so for the face, I do have my face routine still up on my channel, but things have actually changed since then. Imagine me changing. Um, and we're actually going to be testing a different foundation today. So we're going to be testing the Sephora... Um, it's in French. 10 hour wear perfection foundation. I picked this up when we went to France this year for holiday um, and it was like what 16, 9, 16 euro 99? Um, I picked this up in France and we're going to test it out today because I don't ever test new makeup on my channel because I can't afford it but I can this time so we're going to test this foundation out and see how it performs um, kind of on different <laughs> I'm going to use it in two different ways as well. I'm going to use it, oh god I'm going to use it with a damp sponge and then I'm also going to use it with a brush. I just don't, I can't find which one. I'm going to test it with the Real Techniques um, buffing brush, I think this is. Yeah, this is the buffing one. So yeah, we're going to test it and see what happens, I suppose. Um, so I'm going to go and wet my beauty blender and I will be back to show you. So I actually did colour match myself with this foundation, so if it's really bad, um, well it's my fault basically so I'm just gonna pin back this bit of my hair because it gets in the way all the time the hair's pinned back and we're gonna get on with it so I'm gonna do the half with my brush first I don't tend to use foundation brushes anymore it's like a sponge only kind of thing these days but who knows so I've, shake, I've given it a good shake this is the colour um, light 11.5 pink accru 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 rosé I can't do French um, and I'm going to squeeze it onto the back of my hand ooh it's quite thick it's thicker than my ordinary one when I say my ordinary one I no not my ordinary one that's not the one I'm using anymore I'm actually on the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation at the moment um, I've squeezed actually loads onto my hands so we're going to do this half my face first I don't think I'll need this much shit I put like three pumps on the back of my hands so actually it was a lot more than that and I feel like it's going to be really heavy with the brush but oh well it'll be fine <laughs> okay and then I'm just going to go in and start buffing that out see I actually think the colour match is quite good I was quite impressed with my colour matching skills, I have to say. Uh, I put way too much of this on. Shit. I actually have not used a brush for my foundation for so long, and I'm kind of realising why. This is very heavy. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to have to give up. I'm going to have to go back in with the wet sponge. I can't do it with a brush. I wanted to see how it performed with a brush, but I can't do it. I actually can't use foundation brushes anymore. I should just throw all my foundation brushes away because honestly. Right, I'm gonna be really careful around this area as well. It does, it feels quite um, thick, like thicker than I'm used to with foundations, but it's very full coverage. Like, there you go, that's half of my face done and that's like the half of my face that hasn't been done. Um, and it has pretty much smoothed out my skin very well um, which is quite nice because that's kind of the reason I wear foundation is to just smooth out my skin okay and then we're going to go back in with the other half of my face and apply it straight off with a damp beauty blender I just prefer using damp beauty blenders because I feel like they 
kind of disperse and blend out the product much more than a brush does. You get very high coverage with a brush, which isn't always, which isn't always ideal in my eyes. Okay, and I'm using the little skinny end of the brush of the of the brush <laughs> of the sponge just to um, go around my hairline and around my eyebrows and in the middle of my eyebrows. So the only thing with doing your face last is that you have to be so careful not to like get foundation all over your eyes. But it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I like it. I think the colour match is really good actually. I'm very impressed with the colour match. Maybe a little bit too dark but then the light shade was like way too light. In general I was quite impressed with the foundation range, I have to say, the shade range looks really good. Um, it was quite, yeah, it was good, but um, I would say maybe a tad too dark. I don't know, what do you think? It doesn't look too dark on camera, I don't think, but who really knows? Right, and now I'm going to go in with contouring, bronzing and highlighting. And I'm going to be using my standard sleek contour kit for my contour um, and I'm going to use Duo Fiber Contour Brush from Real Techniques to do my cheekbones. And then I'm going to go in with the big face brush for just some general bronzing and adding colour to my jawline and my forehead. Ooh, it started to kind of cling a little bit around my forehead, that's interesting. I like how the products, how powder products are blending on top of it though, that's, it's going quite well actually. Um, because some things, powder products just don't blend well on top of. It's, it's very, very clinging to my dry patches here, I don't know if it'll focus enough for you to see. But it's very much clinging to my dry patches around my temple and my foreheads, I have to say, which... Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of used to that happening, like, that happens with most foundations I wear to be honest, but... Now for my fun blush thing, I'm going to go in with the B Cosmetics Angled Blush Brush, which, yes, is still taped together, and back in with Life's a Peach. And we're going to do that very TikTok e-girl thing of blusher, like, right in the centre of the face and, like, on the nose, because I think it's cute. I never wore blush like this and I probably wouldn't wear it like out of the house for like every day but I think it is cute. Um, you have to have quite a light, I have quite a light hand with my blusher because um, I, I feel like I would struggle to blend this out if I put too much on. Um, but yeah I'm just kind of popping it around here in a sort of um, like pushing motion rather than like swipe. You know, I'm sort of like pushing it onto the face rather than, and then buffing out in like circles kind of thing. I don't think it really suits me like this, but I kind of like how it turns out. And then also on the tip of the nose, because that's also a massive thing these days, is blusher on the tip of the nose. Okay, I think that's enough. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the Becca with Becca Champagne Pop again and I'm using the Sephora um, number 5 highlighter brush um, for this because it's like really big and it kind of gets a good highlight going on and I'm going to add it to the high points of my face so I'm going to put it on my cheekbones I'm going to load it onto my cheekbones because we love a glow on my nose and then just above my brow bones where we put that contour it's already on my actual brow bones and then on my cupid's bow as well i actually have i adore this highlighter like i can see why it's a cult favorite put it that way um okay right we've done that we've done the blusher business what comes next? If foundation's off my hand, we're going to go in with some eyelashes now. And these are the Dull Beauty eyelashes um, in, the sh in, the in the shade. In the style, Hannah, they just look like this. Um, they're very kind of wispy and fun and flirty and I really, really like them. They're lovely eyelashes. 
See, I just know that that inner corner is going to lift any second now, but it's fine. We'll just have to leave it to it, if it does. My mirror keeps falling apart as well, it's really irritating. Nope, okay, that's not going to work. Okay, so for finishing touches for lips, um, I'm not going to do lips yet, actually, I'm going to do my little freckles first. Um, so I am going to add some fake freckles. I've never really done fake freckles before, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but it's kind of fun. And I enjoy doing it. So I'm going to take, um, I've seen a lot of people use their contour shades for it, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my contour shade and this bent kind of eyeliner brush from Nanshi. And I'm just going to dip it in my contour shade and just kind of dot, I suppose. So I've also done a few coming up onto the forehead. I think those are a bit too big. I'm still kind of mastering the art of making them not too heavy handed, but um, I'm also not very good at that, so we'll see. I have one massive freckle like right here, so I just like color it. Be like, <laughs> she's there, she's real. She's the only one of them that's real. I feel like I'm risking just looking like I've got measles, but it's fine, it's, it's cute. Okay, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop with freckles now because I'm risking looking a bit clownish. So now we're gonna go onto the lips. Um, the last time when I did this before, I used um, this lipstick here, which is the Sephora um, Lip Stories lipstick in the shade. Is it in the shade Made in Italy or is it Palm Street? Yeah, no, it's Palm Street. <laughs> it's not in the shade Made in Italy, that's just what was on the bottom. And I'm just gonna like dot that like around my lips, like in the center. Cause we're kind of going for that like snogged lip look. So I'm just gonna dot it in the center of my lips. And then I'm going to get my finger and kind of blend it out. And then I'm going to go in a little, with a little, 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 little bit of lip gloss, um, which is the Avon Plump Pow Lip Gloss, which is like peachy and cute. And again, just going to kind of shift that in the centre of my lips and then rub my lips together. Just makes them cute and shiny. Now I'm going to take my hair out of these little things. And that friends is the finished look that's the finished e-girl slash euphoria inspired makeup look for you i uh hope you enjoyed wait <laughs> that was so bad <laughs> So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and that you have been inspired to bring out your inner e-girl because I definitely have. Um, and yeah, so hopefully the channel will be having a little bit of a revival this year. Um, uh, we'll see how that goes though because I have also said this before and it hasn't happened like that. So we'll see. <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, please give it a comment, a like, a subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you in my next video.